Hello, everyone. Talon Gillespie here. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I have a special Black Panther review for you. Now, I know it has been a while since I've made a Black Panther review. So, I'm actually going to continue it. So, I'm actually going to be continuing the Black Panther reviews. So, yes. So, we have the Battle Action figures. We have Battle Action King Namor, or Imperious Rex. I think that's what he is called when he is a king. And we have Shark Action Atuma. So, I do have the McDonald's version of Atuma, by the way. So, I will do a comparison. So, I don't have the McDonald's toy of Namor yet, but I will soon. So, when I get the full set, well, I have a couple of Black Panther toys from McDonald's. Well, if I find the rest, I will do part two. So, I will do part two of the McDonald's new toy review, and then I will show you the water gimmick with the ice cold water and the warm hot water and show you what the gimmick is with the color changing gimmick with the toys. So anyway, let's let's focus on these. So we have Battle Action King Namor or Imperious Rex, however you want to pronounce that. So this looks amazing. That definitely looks like Namor right there. That looks like the actor who played him in the movie. So, this looks amazing. So, there is a little try-me right here that you can that you can do. So, so all you do, you have to squeeze his legs together, and that's his gimmick. So, pretty interesting. And all the Marvel toys are going to have the Avengers logo right there. And these are made by... Hasbro, and the bottom is just your UPC right there. Whoa. The side just has a the logo Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and on this side we have the main characters from the Kingdom Wakanda. So we have Princess Shuri, um, Okoye, Mbaku, and Nakia. So that looks very amazing. I do love the artwork on the side. And on the back of the box, it shows you how the gimmick works. So you can see a kid squeezing the legs. So that's how you activate the battle action. So that looks amazing. And right here we have a Tuma right here. So you could tell he has the the blue skin right there because you could tell he is from Telocon, just like Namor. And if you don't know right here, it says plastic free packaging. So this looks very interesting. I'm really impressed with that. So and it says the same thing on the bottom here. So very interesting. So all the battle action figures are going to have the same logo on the packaging. And that's how they look. So I got these for Christmas, by the way. I got these two for Christmas. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get these two open and take a look. All right, I have the battle action King Namor and the shark action Atuma out of their packages and they look great by the way I do love these figures and they look amazing so let's start with King Namor right here so here's King Namor or Imperious Rex however you want to pronounce that and on the back this is actually his cape so it is bendy and if you squeeze the legs uh, you can see the back of his uh, of his crown right there. So that looks amazing. So for the articulation, well, uh, the head 
rotates around. And it can move up and down and side to side a little bit. Uh, the arms rotate around, but they move slightly. They move slightly, but because this part is actually a little bit bendy because I don't want to force it and break it because, you know. And right here, his leg does swivel around. But he does have minor of issue standing a little bit. So, yeah. And on his feet, you can see he has some wings on there. So, you can tell the wings are on his legs right, next, right between his feet and right on his ankles. So, that is awesome. So, for his gimmick, all you have to do is squeeze the legs and boom. That is cool. I like that. So basically, it's his crown. So now he's called Imperious Rex. Now that looks amazing. You could you could n n tell he's like getting ready to fight uh, the Black Panther. Yeah. Well, we all know the the new Black Panther is uh, Shuri, right? Well, for this character, this is the bad guy from the movie, and yeah, but it doesn't. The legs don't stay together. It's just spring-loaded. So that is very interesting. So that is King Namor. And now let's jump into Atuma right here. So here's Atuma. And real quick, I have the McDonald's toy from 2022. So here it is. So like I said, I will be continuing to do the Black Panther reviews. Like the... The toys, I mean. So, basically, there is some differences here. Like, for the face, it is pretty different. Because you can tell he has this part on his mouth, on his nose, but this one doesn't. And you can tell when you squeeze the legs. This part is actually the hammerhead shark. Well, it's actually just a skull, and these parts are like the hair. But this one has like the molds on there, but this one's just have like sh short hair. And this one has like the same color of skin. So the same skin is blue, so they have to match uh, both colors to the skin. Because you can tell uh, Atuma has like blue skin. And, well... For the base right here, it, it's supposed to be water. So, yeah. But the other McDonald's toys from this set right here, the one I'm holding, is I'm missing the number seven Black Panther. Uh, Namor. Um, let's see what else. Um, Okoye. Um, Namora. I think that's uh, Namor's daughter, I think. And the Happy Meal box. So I'm gonna be putting them all, putting them all together to make the full set. So yeah. So let's focus on Shark Action Atuma. So this looks very awesome. They did a really good job with his personality. So the articulation is the same. So but for the head, it is hindered because the long piece right here. That's where his hair is. But it does move up and down a little bit and side to side. Uh, the arms rotate all the way around. And for Namor's arms, they're just hindered because of the, the shoulder pads. But there is no uh, elbow joint or anything. And the legs do not go forward, but... They do not go back. There's no movement at the knee. And this leg only you know, moves. And this leg does not move. But it swivels a little bit. But not that much. And that's about how much articulation that you're going to get. So for his gimmick. Just like with Namor. Squeeze his legs. And boom. Well. Let's see. Uh, look at the face. Well you could tell. Because let's focus in there. 
Because you can tell those are the eyes right there, but... It's almost like it's covering up his whole face right there. It's almost like it's covering up the face. Because you can tell with uh, Namor right here, it's just covering up his head right there. But the, the top part where his hair is, that's part of his face. Well, part of his head, by the way, because because he would need to be able to see through the front. So, very interesting. But for Atuma, this looks like, uh, because you can tell this is almost like hair a little bit. And for that, you, know, you can see more of Atuma's head right there. So, for example, um, it's almost like it's covering up his whole face, kind of like his armor. So, that looks very interesting. So, anyway, that is the toy review of Battle Action King Namor and Shark Action Atuma. So, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know in the comment section down below and tell me which Black Panther Battle Action figures are there. Like, I know there's like a Shuri and Ironheart, but what else is there? Let me know in the comments down below, because I really want to learn more about Black Panther. Because I haven't seen the first one in theaters, but I did see I did see the sequel back from January 2023. And I saw it in the theaters, and it was amazing. And I still have the DVD, because I watched it for the first time. And I may have to go back and... Rewatch the movie because I think it's amazing because I really enjoy the movie. All right, so that'll be wrapping up. That'll be that will do it for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and ding the notification bell for new videos. And stay tuned for the next Black Panther toy reviews. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will. See you later. Wakanda forever.